Hi, today I prepared another population genetics video and I recommend you to stop video here, read the questions, answers and make your choice and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So here is the first question. The major genetic effect of inbreeding is to answer A. Increase the number of loci at which the average individual is homozygous. Uh, answer B. Increase the number of loci at which the average individual is heterozygous. Answer C. Increase the number of the recessive alleles in populations over the time. And answer D. The first and third choices are both correct. And answer E. The second and third choices are both correct. And here the correct answer would be a, because with each round of the inbreeding, when we, for example, self-pollinate a plant, uh, the level of the heterozygosity of this plant would be decreased by 2. So after each round, it would be more uh, homozygous, at uh, all its loci. So uh, when we self-pollinate a uh, plant about for 10 generations, that means that uh, it's going to be pure breed and would be homozygous uh, for the most of its loci. So it would be 99.99% uh, uh, or close to this number uh, homozygous. So, uh, second question, if migration process unposed uh, by any other evolutionary process, the result will be an answer A, an increase in genetic diversity among the populations, answer B, the loss of uh, one or more alleles in, the, in one or more populations, answer C, an increase in the frequency of the homozygous in all populations, and D, homo homogenization of allele frequencies uh, among the populations. And um, the correct answer here would be D. Uh, the easiest uh, example would be if you would have two glasses, one say with uh, pink uh, pigment inside and another glass with just pure water and now uh, when you start to pour uh, this uh, liquid in another glass uh, not all but uh, say just uh, for example a teaspoon uh, it's just uh, the same like uh, migration process, uh, you would also add uh, some pink here. And if you repeat this process uh, for a long time, and uh, also if there are going to be exchange of the liquid, so you would use this liquid also to uh, transfer to this uh, left glass. So after a while, you will find that uh, both, uh, both uh, glasses uh, would, be, would have uh, water of the same color. Of course, uh, the pigment uh, on, in this left uh, glass would be diluted. And here, some of the uh, pigment uh, from the left glass uh, would also change the color of the liquid and both liquids in this uh, uh, glass number one and number two uh, would be homogeneous. So this is a good explanation what happens between two communities that also exchange um, allelic uh, different alleles after a while, if a uh, migration process is uh, substantial enough, 
and uh, there is enough time, both uh, communities would be homogeneous uh, for the particular allelic frequencies. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like uh, this video. Goodbye.